everybody, Draconic Games here, zipping on to the first episode of, uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Sorry, I'm watching the frame. Shows the family tree, that's nice. Odin, Eddie, Walter, Sam, Calvin, Barbara, Molly. This is K, but it's just a leaf. Um Gregory, Gus, Don, St. Jay. Lewis, Milton, Edith. Hmm. It's quite ironic how her her birth year is the same as mine. So what remains of Edith? Might be a little laggy for you guys, I don't know. It's hard to tell right now. Uh, what? A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. God, that was not even lying for me. I'm really worried about the lag issue right now. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Why weren't you allowed inside half the rooms? Hold on, let's pause it for a second. Graphics, uh... High. Let's turn these all to high. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Hmm. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now right. I have questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Hmm. What kind of questions? The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. So far, 
hearts. Okay, let's go up here. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Why were you afraid? I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Hmm. Uh, wait, do they have like a key? Wow. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Sorry, I just got. I, as For the I might first have... time in years. I felt like I was home. But instead I... of a family, there were just memories of one. I think the reason why it was lagging was the fact that it had to load so much, so many graphics in the, uh,. Uh, outside. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Hmm. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. So we're just going through her story. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. to make sure I didn't miss anything. So basically this is just the story. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Nice analogy. Mm. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. The original house sank. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, hmm. along with the rest of the house. I called her Barbara. It's Barbara. I'll go check that out in a second. It's in my. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. A 
door is completely sealed. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, that's what the key was for. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Hmm. <sighs> Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. That's kind of spooky. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. My Halloween candy was all gone. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. I kept eating and eating. Well, I, don't, I don't know if that's good for you. I ate a lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. Oh. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Oh, this is this is cute. I 
could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Eating? I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Holy shit, I'm enjoying this game. Oh guys, I hope you have enjoyed now this I was episode. A monster and I smelled people everywhere. Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of uh um God I I've been so, I've been so uh attracted I've been so interested in this game I completely forgot. 
Um, anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of what, um, whatever it is. If you have, hit that like button down below to show your support for the channel because it would be amazing if you did. Yeah, as I said, I hope you have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, become your kind of gamers, and yeah, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. See ya!